Howdy. Today I'm going to talk about horses. For those of you who love horses, you might like this. I grew up in Wyoming, and that's a cattle and cowboy country for sure. The cowboy culture is so permeated into my history uh, for many reasons, but one was that I had a cousin who at 18 years of age was the state champion bareback rider. That's quite an accomplishment. This young man went on to be a World War II hero. So uh, what a life. Add to that fact that Wyoming hosts the daddy of them all. That's a rodeo. It's held the last week in July and people come from all over, all over the world. My aunt and I always rode in the parade. She was uh, quite a character and uh, she had no children, so I was uh, her daughter. And uh, we rode in a single horse carriage. She handled the horse and we were in period costumes. It was a lot of fun. I did that up until I was a teenager. And then I started going to the rodeo because there were guys there. Even though my parents lived in town, um, all of their friends had ranches and farms. So being around animals and especially horses was really a, a very big part of my growing up. And I rode a lot and I loved it. When we moved to California, kind of left that behind, sad to say. One of my favorite genres for poetry is something called cowboy poetry. Um, I've searched for a few days trying to find something that would be appropriate and spiritual at the same time, and uh, came upon something called On the Trail, Christian Poems and Proverbs. That really interested me. There's a lot to read in this book, so I might use it more than once, but as I read it, remember that just kind of look at the characters because the characters are biblical. Um, even though they're given cowboy names, the gentleman who wrote this poetry is a pastor of something called the Cowboy Church in Montana. And he just decided that the more he spoke their language, the more they listened to the story of Christ. And I agree with him. So I will start on a book, a, a poem, and it comes from Mark 2, 4 to 5. And the author calls Jesus by many names, which you'll recognize him. And it's called The Stray. He had been born out in the brushy land, raised on much more, not much more than cactus and sand. Tough and mean were just part of his ways. In the desert land, that's what it takes to live out your days. We had gathered him up and put him with the herd. All the way he was bellering a little lost cow word. As we drove the herd, he tried to go astray. He never left our sight. That's how we earn our pay. When we got to the corral, he ducked hard at the gate. My pony dropped his head and pushed him in, knowing his fate. As we be began to cut out the ones that already had burnt hide, I saw that stray in among them. He had a bullish pride. Then the boss showed up, boss showed up said, boys, time to burn some hair. Pointing at the stray, he shouted, you can strike right there. As we rode toward him, he shook his horns to rebel, but I built a loop and swung through the dusty air. It sailed, I jerked my slack and dallied, and I pulled him hard out for my pard. Let out a laugh, his old hide was about to be charred. We had him roped and strung out to take the brand. The boss was going to him, hot iron in his hand. There in the dirt, he was putting up a hellish fight. Yelled out to my partner, you better stretch him tight. When the boss got to him, he reached out a hand. Then he touched the stray and he just laid there in the sand. The boss said, little stray, you now belong to me. You're now branded with the cross for the whole world to see. I rode in on him to put some slack in my rope. He became part of the Three Cross Ranch, mercy, love, and hope. Have a great day.